morning it's a tad bit cold in california good morning you guys libra sun moon rising and venus welcome to today's whatever comes out so last night i tried to do a video tried to record a couple times it was amazing i mean i tried to get some love energy out i was surprised what i saw last night hopefully it'll come back out again today and that's why we do another video to see if the energy just repeats in any way welcome back to the channel my lovely libras wherever it is in your chart all right so we're going to get a fair shuffle i almost peaked right now at the bottom of the deck but we're going to look at the split the split says today the ace of swords and the world card okay uh, i'm filming with a different camera today i'm using my phone so it might not be as clear as it typically is shuffle for libra and the whatever comes out please what's going on in the energy what can we present please i'm going to take this card so today we will examine feelings what's coming towards you and of course the whatever comes out thank you that's the five of pentacles can i get a rounded out energy for libra too thank you the world came back out again after shuffling the world is some type of completion okay we could be more happier with that completion or more content i sense that you're ready for something libras you might be ready to attack a new type of your schedule a new type of your um i want to say here more of your routine is going to include new people in it new relationships that five of pentacles there's something that's of a loss in the recent past and we will clarify who that's attached to or why we're dealing with that in the energy we have an unseen card here the judgment card we have scorpio uh, judgment is a decision that is based either through the weekend or we have love feelings going on here about a person okay something is coming more and more into your truth with this judgment card uh, bottom of the deck is justice again we had it at the bottom as well yesterday all right let's get another shuffle in let's clarify the judgment card in this world that's here those are two major arcanas and it is about decisions and closing out a previous chapter okay in the current let's get it most current at this current time lots of current <laughs> you could have had a i don't know there's something here too about water okay you could be dealing with water maybe water signs the lover's card the decision is about love okay it's about joining with someone maybe energetically okay if there's distance here between the two of you two there's a lot of romantic energy around you guys lots of romantic energy can i second that with a new card please the lover's energy divine okay maybe both of you were meant to meet in this lifetime and we also have the death card definitely something is coming to an end okay for you and era it doesn't even have to be with a previous love partner it's just an end to a season maybe you've started a new awakening journey too these last few days okay libra i also see here like some joy could be coming to you as well when that world card uh, shows up there is a new beginning heading toward you sometimes in a new development sometimes with something you're coming up with okay it could be by your own hand as well so that's completely interesting i've been feeling that energy as a libran too lately all right three cards of extra messages i told you a new era the two of cups and we will discuss the two of cups under the death card why is this two of cups here the ace of cups look at that flipper okay the ace of cups discovers new love it examines it it becomes very close to somebody who's new for you the justice card beside it too is bringing back everything of old everything in your heart as well the heart chakra reopening for a new person who's the new person why are they feeling this way thank you okay the feeling is the five of cups there could be reconciliation between you and an old person. If this is a new person, they're sad it hasn't started yet. The Five of Cups. There's a little regret not approaching you sooner. Okay? Five of Cups for the new person. Let's see this present Two of Cups. The Star. Okay. I got something immediately. And because we're doing this in the morning, it stretches throughout the day, of course. Some energies will change. The two of cups to the star is being very attracted to this person okay they know that you're a star on some level libras it's something that you express i feel like it's through conversation with this person 
they have a bird's eye view of what your heart looks like and that's how i want to put it okay the star here also you have qualities that they wish they would have seen in people before maybe previous people they dated they see all of those qualities with you because the star is here it's hope healing and enlightenment okay let's check the bottom before we clarify we have the eight of wands the messaging card communication card is this in the mermaid tarot she's bursting out of this lava rock with many of those wands protruding through the water okay you could have more connection today with multiple people not just one all right, I'm gonna use the light seers. Can I clarify the star please and the two of cups? What does this mean overall? Okay, coming from a break, the four of swords. You took a lot of time or maybe extra alone time to think about the situation, maybe a new connection between two people. You exercise those thoughts. You also maybe even gave them extra time here and rest, which allowed you to completely heal. Okay, as a person, you maybe have uh, properties here which help you heal faster for the Libra I'm speaking to. You're going to know if that's you because there's a particular thing that you do. Okay, um, for instance, and I'm, I love to give you guys examples. There's a certain place that I go, which is kind of like a mecca for healing. Um, also, for me as a person, I've always gone close to water because I'm a Cancer moon. So I think I tend to heal more towards water things. Okay, but that's just the first thing that's coming up in this reading. What else than the Four of Swords? Additionally to the Four of Swords, please. Knight of Wands, yes, yeah, somebody coming toward you, okay? This energy is attracted to you at this time. It comes in fast. Now, in the past, because it's Sagittarian, it comes in with a rush of energy, but it also can leave as fast. It's known as the In-N-Out card or In-N-Out Burger. So we'll see what that is about. Can I look at the Knight of Wands, please? Can I see that? I want to see the Knight of Wands. The Five of Cups returns. There's two Five of Cups today, okay? Definitely, if anything, a general energy. You could have dealt with a loss that you, maybe you think about it in the past, okay? But someone is regretting you in the moment, and it could be this Knight of Wands, which I'm picking up heavy. Is the Knight of Wands the new person, the star? Maybe both of you are a star, okay? This person is also healed, refreshing in the moment, getting clarity, and also in awakening themselves. If they're not spiritual, okay, and they don't follow anything specific here, this person has gone on a healing journey of their own. Maybe even coming here to a realization about you, I'm getting. I don't know why I'm getting not a realization about themselves, but it's more towards like the energy that you've provided in their life and take that how it resonates because it can be a past or a new person can i clarify the two of cups which we see here today two of cups please there's one on the table i can't see the king of cups and judgment again okay second card very worthy of looking at there is a decision coming up on a two of cups okay as we move forward here, I will clean up and we're gonna look at some significant tea leaves as we did yesterday. They have a lot of emotions for you, whoever you're dealing with in the energy. They come out as a king of cups and that is the final answer for this morning. An alternative here is somebody could still have a cup of love for you, okay? I see that the ace of cups can even be old this morning. It can come from a past person, not necessarily ending bad with a past person. Overall, though, the King of Cups is here to describe how they feel. And the King of Cups keeps to himself. He might ruminate every now and again, um, sometimes often, too. They might even keep you in their thoughts. If you're in star energy, Libras, my masculines and feminines, if this is you, typically in the story nowadays, this person thinks of you more than six times a day. Okay, I'm just letting you know. The King of Cups often thinks of that star. All right, what's the justice here? What's the justice card? Why do we see this beautiful card? Of course, it's our major arcana, and we cannot deny its placement here today or why it's here, but it will focus and bring it down uh, and ground it for us. What's the justice card, please? Can we see that? For the morning, page of wands. Either someone wanting to come toward you like, I pick up physically with the page of wands, no more waiting, making a decision, 
coming in enthusiastic, okay? And some of our tea leaves might examine this. The biggest cards are these two, King of Cups to the star, also that Two of Cups. There's some type of general energy around this collective with love at this current time, okay? Uh, and if you're not experiencing love, it's some type of Two of Cups because it's the base of any partnership. This can even be a business partnership. Alrighty, bottom of the deck before we go to tea leaves, and I do have to clean it up here a bit, we have the Six of Cups. That's huge to see as a bottom of the deck card. Usually the bottom is the overall or the underlying energy. I feel like someone's missed you the past couple days and spent extra time to think of your feelings or to think of how you are maybe even viewing something, okay, Libras? Like now your opinion has become uh, their primary focus. If somebody left you behind in the past too, I think this person still ruminates over it. And that's only going to be limit to, limited to a few of you, okay? Uh, let's go to tea leaves and let's do a fair shuffle. We're going to shuffle for a while, okay? I used some of these yesterday for other signs I read for Taurus and Scorpio. Alrighty. Can we see what's going on? Let's clarify the read only. Clarify the read with three tea leaves. And let's see Ray Hepburn's deck. Good morning and happy breakfast time. I hope that you guys are doing well. Uh, the Midwest is probably already halfway through their day and it's just getting started here in California. So we might do another video today. We'll see what topics come out. And I wanted to let you Libras know, I only come into the tarot room if I'm truly called. I won't just do a read just to do a read. That's not the way I've ever read. Um, if there's a message that's coming out and tapping me, that's when I allow myself to go into the tarot room. So I don't pressure making videos or anything like that. I always go if I'm called. All right. And that's the best I could shuffle for this morning. <laughs> so let's see what the Six of Cups is. Can we see the main messages? Uh, three of the significant ones. Thank you. There's Desk, Lobster. I've never seen that one. And the third card to round off this energy. Tulip. Okay. Desk, Lobster, and Tulip. Which one shall we go with for this morning? I'm going to let you pick and I'm going to think about it as you pick. You picked Lobster. <laughs> just joking. Okay. Lobster financial pinch is going to happen. Okay. The lobster, because his hands, okay, obviously are focused in making that sort of shapely, you know, they're both like this, obviously there might be a financial pinch coming up. And I know finances are coming into a love read, but we have to read it. It could call for another time. You're going to need those funds. And so what I'm sensing is that type of thing you're going to have to hold on to it, okay? There might be something that calls for your finances to be used, so just save at this current time. And it's almost like what I'm seeing is someone going like this, like putting it away, okay, in my vision here. Lobster, let's go with Tulip next. Tulip is your next cod, the next cad. Great passion, there's great passion awaiting. Now, this is what I call like involvement with tarot. The Six of Cups is involved with this tool, uh, tulip, or it's also a tool of love, and the Two of Cups. So there's something here going on with a great feeling in your heart, or you're possessing something for someone. Great passion awaits you. Also in our predictions videos, which was last week, I told you guys that passion would be coming your way. I don't sense anything, you know, above normal. Maybe not a gift here, maybe not a specific message, but you're going to be getting it in feelings, okay? The tulip card expresses emotions. Next card, we have a few, what was it? Desk, excuse me. I'm touching tarot cards as well. Desk is here with some feathers, a lot of correspondence, and it says, pay attention to your work. Desk is about paying attention to your pentacles, your eight of pentacles, your seven of pentacles. Your work might involve being intertwined with love coming up too. I'm sensing that message is a lot of balancing, two of pentacles. You might need to balance yourself before you go into any relationship. And that's coming out as well. I want to get a card on desk and why this came out for you. Why is desk here about the eight of pentacles? Is there going to be a loss of focus? Because stability is where you should be at at this time. 
Spirit and your angels want you to focus on how you feel stable. And look at this, the desk card totally matches uh, this type of idealism or this type of ideology to take care of yourself first because your pentacles are your stability. And I think that you're almost watching for it because you're about to go into new love, potentially Libras. They could intertwine, maybe even here, cause like a little bit of a, too much of a balancing act is what I'm picking up. The desk card next to the king of pentacles, okay? Let's do some extra messages here at the end. I'm gonna put those away. That is that. And I hope those meant something to you. Sometimes they're generalized for the entire collective and sometimes they're speaking of the actual reading. So I just wanna place that in here at the end. Any more messages? Desk is actually ringing true too for most of us Libras who are coming out of a tough time. And we have to definitely focus in one area. Alrighty, um, a little bit more additional messages to close out this beautiful reading. I hope it helped. I hope it was helpful. A couple more here, please. One, Empress. You might be dressing up to impress. Some of you could have, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you could have family meetings coming up. I've been having this thing too where lately if I do a reading and I say a specific word or I pause, my throat will completely go out. And I don't know if that's because I drink coffee in the morning. So if anyone knows anything about that having to do with caffeine, let me know in the comments. I like lose parts of my voice. Um, I don't know if that happens to some of you too. We have the Hierophant. There is a committal energy that is prepared to come toward you. Somebody's ready to take you seriously. King of Cups to the Empress. If you imagine the Hierophant card being a very studious and serious one, this is the affecting energy behind it. There's some type of romance here that's ready for Hierophant energy. Can I get a clarifier on the Hierophant, please? Please and thank you. The magician. See, I think somebody is manifesting you. It's not so much a goal or financial wish on your part today, Libra. I think this is someone's true wish to manifest you. Maybe include you two in their life uh, forevermore. It's like this person is really, really wishing for you. The King of Cups is one of the lead cards for today's read. So it's not so much your wishing, okay? And you could be manifesting, but I definitely think it's manifesting the Empress, if you see that in the cards this morning, all right? This was the first one. We might go into a bonus next. Um, I was planning on doing something creative for you guys coming up next. So this was the first video. Thank you for your morning time. I really do appreciate it. You go off now and have a beautiful day. Libras, I'll see you in a few moments.